Hello there. Today we're going to talk about why I decided to change my inventory system and why I decided to change my niche on eBay. Hopefully this is information that will help you. So let's get into it. One of the things I was doing before, I had those clear plastic bins that I was using for um, all the things I was selling on eBay. And um, you know, I was numbering them one through six, and then like 1A, 2A, whatever. Uh, and then I was also for my clothing, I was storing them in plastic, clear plastic bins, but I was labeling them like men's t-shirts, women's short sleeves, you know, I was categorizing them and it wasn't working great for me, but I couldn't think of another way. Well, you guys, I totally recommend if you're a reseller, watch other reseller videos, you will get a ton of useful and helpful information for your business. All right, one of the things the girl had done on her video was use this roll of inventory numbers. You get this on Amazon for about eight bucks. I think it was six, uh, six to eight. And you just label all your clothing. Like I put all my clothing in plas clear plastic bags and then you just put the, the label on the bag. And then this way you can store whatever in these bins. I could store men's clothes with women's clothes. It doesn't matter. And when I sell some clothing out of a certain bin, I could just add more. It's so amazing. And you know, after 20 years, I'm still learning. <laughs> you can never learn it all. It's always a learning process. So that's why I like to watch other YouTube videos because I get so much information, like I said. So that was one of the things I did. So when I decided to organize all my clothing, just kind of put them all in plastic, well, most of them were in plastic bags, put them in each bin and put these on. I've only done about three bins. And what I do is you guys, please forgive my messy writing, but I write it down and I'll say like 0030 is, you know, a Puritan uh, men's shirt or something like that. So uh, instead of using my inventory system, which I was using before, I decided to do the custom SKU that I've talked about before. I've never used that method before. And I thought, oh, I won't get in the habit of using it. And then I won't know where the item is. Well, I can get in the habit of using it and I've already started using it. So once I put the numbers, I'm not done. I'm only up to 0088. Um, I, it's going to take me several days. I'm going to put them in the custom SKU on eBay. And I'll put a picture up on the screen of what it looks like where you're supposed to add your custom SKU on your on the eBay selling page. So you guys will know. Some of you may be already using this. I know a lot of resellers already are using it. I just love it. It's really nice. You just, you know, type in where it is. Like I numbered my bins one through 10 for my clothing. And so I'll just say 1-0030 or 0031, whatever the number of this is, and the one or the two or three, whatever corresponds to the bin number. So it's a very easy system. You guys, if you want, you could try it out for yourself, but you know, whatever works for you. And so those are the two things that I've changed recently. It took a while to get there. It's I'm on day four of organization, what I, what I did, uh, several days ago I just sat down my husband was working it was Sunday actually today is Wednesday and I just sat there for like six or seven hours straight and I went through all my bins and organized them and I'll show you in a minute what I did but I took all the eBay um, items that are non-clothing items and I reorganized them into colorful bins and I labeled those A through L. 
and it was a great way of kind of sorting through things things that hadn't sold that i'm going to get rid of i took them off ebay i'm donating them i have a whole box of donations downstairs things i no longer want to sell because it's just not getting interest it might sell eventually but i'm just tired of having it in my inventory and i want to make room for new stuff and so it took all day to sort i couldn't get to all the bins in one day but they are all done now by the next day i got all the non-clothing items that i'm selling on ebay in bins i got them labeled i decided to label those a through l because i only have up till l um, bins with items in it and I also have a bin that um, has room for more so that's really nice then on the clothing I did one through ten I ordered the numbers on Amazon because the girl had her totes the girl the reseller girl I watched that really helped me and get information about this she also had her her bins just labeled with numbers get this you guys it's never occurred to me you know those numbers that you use on mailboxes and boats and that kind of thing that's what she used I'm like oh my goodness I go how what a great idea that never occurred to me so I ordered them off of Amazon they were really cheap I ordered the really big ones they're four inches and you'll see how big they are when I take you over to my bins but I'm thinking they might be a little big I don't think my side's that bad I need them that big <laughs> I might downgrade to three inch but for now they work but I decided to niche down as they say or niche down um, I know Hustling Hooks has done this recently. They were selling everything, electronics, clothing, shoes, etc. And they decided to hone in more on clothing and shoes. Uh, so that's what they've been doing and they've been killing it. I just decided, I it's funny, I used to hate selling clothes or listing clothes actually because you've got to do all the measurements. But since I've gotten so many, I have so many clothes and I just decided I want to just sell clothes and shoes. I'm also going to sell some other things like accessories, belts and jewelry and wallets and purses, uh, hats. I still sell the baseball caps because my husband loves sourcing for those. Uh, and so that kind of thing. Now, that doesn't mean if I find something else like ink cartridges or, or electronic item, I won't get it. I will. Of course I will. But I'm not going to concentrate that on that. So when I go to a thrift store, I'm just going to make a beeline for the clothing and the shoes and the purses and the jewelry and that kind of thing, accessories. And my uh, so that's my plan. And because I have so many clothes, I should show you guys. Let's take you around. Oh, let me turn you around this way. You can see. Look at. All these clothes I've gotten recently. And this is just miscellaneous. So yeah, I will be listing this other stuff. But I got purses and a cap. And But look at this. Because I've been so busy with this inventory system, I've had no time to list. In fact, for two days, I didn't list. And I still got sales. I didn't get many. I got a couple a day. Um, I didn't get any yesterday. But I did list a couple of things yesterday. The irony is I listed and I didn't get sales. But when I wasn't listing, I did. Oh, one thing I should show you guys. Another thing the reseller on the video taught me that I didn't know anything about. This is called a folding board. So I should give you guys a demonstration of it. But basically you put your t-shirt there and you fold it here. Take it back. You fold it here. Take it back. And then you just do the last two folds. And then it's in a nice square. It's really nice. I was just folding them manually by myself um so i love having that that was really cheap like seven bucks or something so so those are the numbers you can see the bins are kind of full but there's the numbers i just try to put them on the bottom right and they're in no particular order they're just kind of mixed in there I did two yesterday, I did three yesterday, my crooked three, and then you can see the rest. I, what I did is I just put them in bins, but I have not put the inventory labels on them yet. I just decided to hand write these. Starts here, A, B, C, D, E, F. Where's my G? 
I believe it's down here. Oh no, it's not. G <laughs> H I J K L. So that's it. And then the clothing continues here. This is seven. I've not put the stickers on these yet. Eight. I don't have big bags for these yet. I like to get the ones at Dollar Tree that are like extra large bags. So when I go to Dollar Tree next, nine and ten. And as you can see, ten has room for more clothes. So that's that's a good thing. And then that is just my kids' clothes and my bedding. I just combine them together. And there's Oliver's bed. He does sleep up in there quite often. These are my plush, obviously my mannequin. This is my little workstation. Sparta sleeps on here. You can see all the cat hair, or maybe you can't, but there is. And then this is my little station. I had to put these in a bag because Oliver, he likes to, you know, bring these kind of things downstairs. So I found that in the living room this morning. He's a crazy cat. So this is just a kind of tape. Like I had to tape these on here and then, um, or to tape bags shut, that kind of thing. So, and those are just more bags down there. And that's where I did my caps. So I know it's it makes it very easy for me to find things now. It's just a wonderful revelation I got when I watched that video. It's like, ah, oh, angel sing. It's like, oh my gosh, why did I think of this before? I never once thought of an inventory system like this. I was just doing what I thought, was best, you know, by categorizing the men and women, but now I don't have to do that. It's such, it's so freeing when you find an organization system that works for you. I don't have one here, but that's the custom SKU right there. So you'd be putting your SKU if there. Clothing, I, you know, I do one dash, whatever the number is, or two, three, bin. so it's the bin plus the number that's on the clothing item. And if it's a non-clothing item, just the regular bins with miscellaneous stuff, it could be anywhere from figurines to air filters or whatever, uh, that's where I just do like bin A or B or C. You know, I don't say bin, I just say A, B. So I think this is gonna work great for me. It's gonna be so much better. Before it was just putting on the spreadsheet and you know, things got missed. Sometimes it didn't make it on the spreadsheet, but this way, I'm going to be going through all my pages. These are, I have more than this, but my handwritten pages. It's my messy writing, which I have nice writing when I'm paying attention. But if I'm writing fast, I'm just scribbling. And it's for me to read only. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm so excited. So today I'm going to be working on getting the custom SKUs. Oh, one other thing I'll tell you. When I'm going into the listings, some of these listings I've had up for months or years, so when another good thing about going back in the listing and adding the custom SKU is I could evaluate the listing. I could look at it and go, hmm, does anything need to be changed? The title or the pictures or the description? Or um, uh, mostly what I've been doing is changing the price. Like if something that's been sitting for a long time, I lower the price. I just want to get it sold. So this is a fantastic way of editing listings. So that's what I've been working on. I'm going to work on it more today as well as getting things listed like this. Okay, one thing I'll tell you guys to be careful about. Now, this has ever happened to you. It's happened to me a couple of times. It's not good. I, I go to ship a bunch of items and I have no idea this happened other than I just spaced it. Um, I shipped a tie to this lady. And she got the tie. She's got the tie. Love the tie. But I think you accidentally sent me this. And I'm like, oh no, that was supposed to be for another buyer. I said, can you ship it back and I'll reimburse you for shipping? And she did. She um, she shipped it first class and she said, okay, it was seven whatever, whatever the I don't remember the cost, but yeah, it was like seven fifty or something. And so what I did is I just sent her the money. What I did is I did a partial refund on the item that she bought. So she got the money for the shipping. It's not up to her to pay for the shipping because it was my mistake. And it took a several days to get here. And I said, can I get the um, tracking number? And she never replied. And I thought, oh, no, I don't think she's scamming me. But, you know, I think in the future what I would do is say, can you send me the tracking number? Once I get that, I will reimburse you.
for the cost. But it turned out okay. I got this yesterday. Thank you for whoever sent that back to me. I really, really appreciate that. So now I got to get that to my customer that ordered this lovey a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the funny thing is, I I messaged this lady as soon as this other woman told me she got this lovey by accident. The lady was supposed to get it, I messaged her. And I said, I'm so sorry, I went to another customer. As soon as I get back, I'll send it to you. Never heard a reply. That's what's kind of interesting about some customers is that you just never hear back from them. It's like, I don't get it. I don't know if uh, they don't care or they're not checking their emails. I don't, I really don't know. But at least it's not somebody who got upset. Like, where is it? I want my money back. Thank God. It was, it was somebody who never replied but i'm going to go ahead and ship that out today and get that to them um but be cautious when you are shipping a bunch of items to make sure each item is going to the correct recipient that you're not sending incorrect items to people and i some i oh, i've done it a couple times like two or three times where i'm in a rush and i've got a lot a lot to ship out and I'm just like, boom, 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 you know, shipping, putting the label on and not realizing that I'm duplicating it or I'm sending two things to one person when they ordered one thing and then that other person's not getting it. It's, it's very unsettling to hear that the item that you thought you shipped to the right customer went to somebody else. It's like, ah, it's panic. It's like, no. Uh, like I said, thankfully this, in this case, I think it's going to be okay. Cause I've not heard from that customer. So who ordered this lovely lovey. And again, be looking out for these in the wild guys. These are just the cutest things. I've sold three of them now. It's for a baby or a kid. Hi there, everybody. I'm really soft and cuddly. <laughs> See, it's a blanket. It's a blank attached to a head. <laughs> and this is a cow, but I have sold tigers before, uh, like a blue tiger. The, I'm also selling an elephant who's gray. And every time I buy these, they are so freaking cheap in the thrift store because they don't know what they have. They think, oh, it's just a little toy. It's not worth much. And it's a rattle too. You hear that? Uh, so yeah, baby, and it's super soft and you got the satin lining and this one's mama's cutie. I've also sold a Carter's and a cloud, um, cloud Island, but look out for those lovies. You guys, like I said, lots of stores don't know what they have. And I've only paid, usually pay a dollar or $2 for them. And this, uh, these are worth, uh, I'd say between 20 and 30, depending on the brand. So yeah, and it's such a no brainer to ship it. Like I uh, like you saw, I put it in a plastic bag and then I put it in a poly mailer. Oh, that's another thing I organized. And I put my, all my plastic. I don't know if this is ideal. All right, no, it won't come out. Oh, there we go. And then underneath this is my poly mailers, but it's just the small ones, which I don't use very often. And then these are just the medium sized bags that I put on top and these are bigger. And then I have a really like 24 by 24, something like that. Those are for like the really big items that are not breakable. So that's what I've decided to do for my um, storage. And those are my bags and my um, drape for when I get to take pictures. I have to take a lot of pictures today. And that's my little setup over there. So that was it. I just kind of wanted to talk to you about my new niche, my new organization, and the ways that I am inventorying my items. So I'll go over that again. I just uh, organized all my bins, the non-clothing items. I just put them in bins separately, but I, I made their bins be alphabetical, you know, A through L, like I said. All the clothing items are one through 10 and that'll probably grow at some point. But as you can see from my death pile, I have lots of clothes to list, hoping to sell some more. I sold a couple of 
uh, St. Patrick's Day type shirts recently. I think people are gearing up for St. Patrick's Day. So yeah, I just can't wait to sell more clothes. And so I have room in the bins for the clothes that I'm listing. So, and remember you guys be kind. <laughs> That's my motto. And um, I hope you're doing well. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments or a comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You know, a lot of people just watch the video and they don't subscribe, but subscribing really helps out my channel. And you know, if you want to share it with people or if you want to give me a thumbs up, I would be so, so appreciative. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>